The supernatural, where supernatural is always natural. It is a brief, beautiful evening today. It's a beautiful day for you, wherever you are right now. Welcome to this show. Today, last week, I've been giving you, last couple of weeks, I've been giving you uh, the demonstration or the teaching of the word. Right now, I'm going to show you what I've been teaching you. How is it now? What is going to happen, right? Because it's something that we have never seen before. And I want to encourage you, you're going to be blessed. You're going to understand how God works when he touches his people. And his grace that is upon my life to save people's life. It is something that is very touching, very touching, very touching. And I know you will be touched. One of my daughters who is a, a pastor and I've prayed for her. She has been facing these spirits, these fears, these mindset in her life. But today you're going to understand how these things work. I know you're going to be blessed. Let's watch this. Please pay careful attention. I'll come back and speak to you and pray for you after this. Fundiso, my pastor, what are your fears? Inugwe sabagwako. Baba, enga kusho, engi engi kuzu kuti what I always feel it's it's mostly scary even though there are other things that I'm scared of. It's what I saw on Monday. When I think of my future, there's something that tells me I won't be in it. So, I'm to plan anything for the future. I'm scared to go to the future. Because something says I'm won't, you won't be there. So, I'm going to go to event in January. When someone invites me for a January event, it just tortures me. Because something tells me by January you'll be dead. So, when I was speaking to my mom on Uso, Monday, Usuma, how, unyaga, avu, my mom was saying the year has gone past so fast. And then I say it's about, we are about to have Christmas. And I nearly died. Just saying those words. I just started shaking. And I felt my heart, heart nga, stopping. Nga hamba, nga I went to my bedroom. I knelt. I started to pray. And this thing asked, why are you praying? Because you're going to die. Death is, a, is the plan of God. I took my phone. I couldn't even write. I 
I wrote to Elder Magwaza to pray for me because I had to clean soup. And I started cleaning it in the evening. I started chopping up the onions and then I started chopping onions and then I started I started chopping onions and this thing told me you're going to be cut by this knife. And I stopped. And I asked myself what was happening. And this thing continues to say you are dying. So Elder Magwaza sent a message. Elder Magwaza sent a message declaring life. I kept on reading it. Koda throughout the week. Even when I went to the taxi, I was scared. Cause konite singe guzobu. Abo menge nga seka ya papa yiningzon bon. Konite velit ushola ningo bangge guzobu. When I said my goodbye, something told so, me you're not going to come back. I don't know if we're going to be of death. It's just that dead. So, mindset. In other words, she has mindset. Which says she won't see her future. So, in other words, she's been enjoy a deprived of enjoying and planning for oh, tomorrow. She has a lot that she can argue over in order for her to win she can argue that she started and finished. she has started and finished her metric I have registered my business and it's complete. I've done everything. There's a lot that you can argue over. Things that tell you that you qualify for your future. Let's leave those things. What other things? Another thing, I don't see myself not living at home. When I, when I think of leaving my mom and staying in my own house, exciting. It makes us some getting shot to lay so dead. This is in wing, so ham it's exciting when I receive, but when I realize that I will have to leave home, then I just reject it. I don't know that. I always think of all the things. Maybe it's because I was born at home and then I grew up in the same place. How many people were born in the same place? And they grew up in the same place. You need to I, conquer that. It's that. When I think of that, I have to leave. And stay in another person's home. Actually, I have to stay in your own home, not other people's home. It's never like that for me. It's more it's other people's home. People that I don't know. When I become scared, I and I always see myself changing my mind in front of the pastor. It it means God your husband. Be, oh, um. It means your husband will have to take him, take him back. I always say, if you can't get married and then go back home, then you can get married and then go back home. Just to be married and go back home. Just to be married. 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 Today it's her day to be healed. So any fear? Another fear? <laughs> it's thunder. I'm scared of thunder. 
Mel Dumanje, a Kaya song gets Uma, that's a black gets off again winding. Once it's done, my mother covers the windows. Mrs. Lally Passage. And then we sit in the passage. Because Miss Lally Passage, when we sit in the passage, I always blame my mom that she's the one that created the feeling. I always feel safe that the so, there is no window. Once it's done, there's, well, I'm in another place. There was a time where I was in a text and it didn't even go yeah, out. I was in a time where I was in a text and it didn't even go out. It went straight at the That's end of the thunder. And then I said when the thunder finishes, I will then come out. And, and he said, I'm going back with you. And ask if I'm going to pay and say yes. I saw home and I went right back. Because something that said, if you go out, you're going to die from the so lightning. So do you see how serious this is? We are born with the lightning. This is you, serious. You can laugh, but it's There are serious. many people who are bound. Seriously bound. They need to be set free. You see, Lord. We are born with the lightning. It's the world on its own. So, as you speak with, with it, it's a reality. We are reality, Baba Ngoba. Other people don't understand what I'm scared of. But I am scared and I'm really scared. So, I always declare and say positive things. And declare that I will be with, with this 50,000 seats. But I always declare it within the darkness. So, every night when I go to sleep, I'm scared of closing my eyes. That's what keeps me awake at night. Something tells me I won't be able to breathe while I sleep. So, basically, there's something that has been happening, feeling that I'm awake while I'm sleeping so, and something oppressing me. A demon. And I always say it's a demon. Yeah. Psychologist let you know it's sleep paralysis. My psychologist said, it's okay. If you look at the part when you go for the music, but now you must use your finger to react in the zelega. Me sitting on the corner is poor. When your mind argues and says you want to sleep but you can't sleep and says there is a ghost around. So you are not having things in your routine. Je, getting getting the corner into in your sees your routine dull. I always need something to help me to sleep. Just closing my eyes on my own. When I go to bed, it's like I'm going to my own grave. So I'm always tired. Feeling because once I can't sleep, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I just stay awake from one o'clock. So, and I won't be able to sleep again. Today is your day of freedom. Bring down all the strongholds. Yeah, boy, yes. Let's start the journey. Now, we feel the very same symptoms on our Ubona, Gwenza, Yaganje, Nagwen. If he knew who was experiencing the same thing, Nagwen is a cool leg. You will be set free right now.
You're going to face it straight ahead. So, I'm going to face it. I'll face it the way that I'm going to face it. Not the usual way. But I want her to face it. Start speaking the words that you were scared of speaking. God is alive. I do believe he's around. I do believe God lives. I do believe that Jesus is here and he's alive. I do believe that God is powerful. Above all other gods. I do believe that God is here. I do believe that heaven is here. I do believe that God lives. I do believe he doesn't slumber or sleep. I do believe he is watching over my life. I do believe that I live while I'm in him. I will still live. Part of the future. Until I grow older. So Pila Minagibani Tempest. I will leave until all my promises are fulfilled. I'm not in a funeral. You're telling lies. You are telling lies. You are telling lies. I dream good dreams. I sleep throughout the whole night. I sleep. God is speaking. It sounds like thunder. God is speaking. It says the world is mine and it's and its fullness. It says do not fear. When it thunders, he's speaking. Saying the world is his and its fullness. He reminds the, the, the nature that he is God. Do not be scared. God is speaking. Thank you, Jesus. See when you fight, how it's like. At the end, you conquer. I just say one, two, and two and three. This time, you fight for yourself. What happened? Are you fine kneeling like that? My body is still shaking. 
When I started declaring that I'm free, <laughs> when I'm alive tomorrow, <laughs> that I'm part of the future, I was telling Pastor Ngabai on Wednesday, someone is telling me that God is not there. And I could hear that this is on my mind that God is not there. So no ma is the Langulungil Fund and Gikol and Git Gamas or Gulungulungi Mbonil. Even when I read the word of God and believe and I say I've seen God. It's in Gondungulungula Geko. My mind tells me God is non existent. God is cutting it declare. When I started declaring, Ugutiminangia peel, a footing Sazo peel. That I'm alive and I will still live. Gingasha Babuguti. I can say that. It was the hardest backly. I had to fight by faith without seeing it. When I wanted to see myself in the future, it was still dark. But my heart had to believe that I, tomorrow I will be alive. I couldn't see myself going, home, going out of home and coming back in the afternoon. But I had to believe that I will go back. So when I declared, I had to declare, and declare, and say that I see. I even saw that mark that was marked in front of me disappearing. When the mark disappeared. The devil could drain the power from the mark. He had no power. So when I declare positive things, he would move the mark and then so, I would start fearing. This mark has been like a shackle tying my neck, sending me whichever way he wanted me so, to go. As I spoke the words, even though I didn't see, I saw them being void. As I spoke more, I could feel more fear. When I spoke more, there's a word that said, I'm committing suicide. You are finishing off yourself. Do not speak. Then I heard the voice, I heard the so Congratulations. Congratulations. It's a new day, it's a new start for her life. Hambago, enjoy in peace. You saw it for yourself how the power of God works. When it saves somebody, let me tell you something. People will ask themselves, is anybody safe in these days? Is anybody doesn't have any demon? <laughs> I'm telling you, life, the truth is, if you remember on the first, when we started this month of November, I said the truth is of a human being is the spirit and the soul that's spiritual. And the one that it's only physical body. So, you know, everything is a spirit. Words we speak are spirit. Prophecies are spirit. 
So we need to speak life over our life. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak life, healing, and deliverance upon the viewers right now. And I deliver them and I set them free in Jesus' name. Let them be healed. The power of the Holy Ghost is upon you to touch you, to save you, to redeem you, and to deliver you. Your life will never be the same again. May the good Lord bless you and keep you forever in Jesus' name. Let me tell you and invite you on December we've got the days of glory days of glory we'll be celebrating this year it's our annual conference we have got men of God who are used by God mm. Dr. Basil Tryon will be there Bishop Espimsom will be there Apostle uh, Sandy Lamborghini will be there I'm telling you and many more I will be telling you in Jesus name may the good Lord bless you please subscribe to our channel Swanem Somi even Tabsile or Trim Somi, my wife, and also you're gonna be blessed on Facebook, Instagram, Swanem Somi, Fortla Mafortla, Twitter. Yes, I'm everywhere, I'm all there. Please be blessed. Subscribe, tell your friends about us in Jesus' name. May God bless you. Bye bye.